guys welcome to my youtube channel it's your girl oj abade if you are a returning subscriber thank you for stopping by and if you are a new subscriber you're welcome to the oj fam please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also click on the notification bell so you get notified each time i have a new upload also don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up so youtube will know you enjoyed this video without any further ado please let's dive in first of all i want to thank you guys for the love and support i got in my previous video i really appreciate all the effort also i dropped questions on instagram asking you guys to ask me anything you wanted to know about me so i would do a proper introduction here on youtube and people came up with interesting questions but for the purpose of answering those questions i have to split the video into two answering those that concerns introducing myself today in this video and then every beauty related question in the next video so firstly i want to quickly mention my name is Abade Ojire, but people know me as OJ, so that's why I answer OJ. So the first question here is, what state are you from and where are you based? And this is from Karis Artistry. I am from Delta State and I am currently based in Delta State, Nigeria. The next question says, what did you study in school? Um, like I mentioned in my previous video, I am a graduate of law. I studied law. Next question says, how many siblings do you have? I feel like you are the only child and you have just one. <laughs> I get that a lot actually, but especially when I see my other sister, people are like, uh, you have an elder sister. You, you don't look like you have an elder sister. I actually have an elder sister. I have six siblings. I have six sisters. So I'm not the only child and I am not the only girl. I am the second out of seven actually. So I think that answers it. Will you ever do a sibling tag with your siblings and it? Yes, definitely. I would love to do that, but not now, not so soon because one, my quality, I'm using my phone to record at the moment. I haven't gotten a camera. And then secondly, it's not easy getting all my siblings in one place at the time because we are everybody's grown everybody's going different places so if i can get them maybe in the future to be in one video and do sibling tag i'll definitely do that and it will be fun because they are definitely fun in fact more fun than my cell phone it's comi boy <laughs> if you didn't study law what would you have studied um this has never crossed my mind before, but thinking of it now in the Nigerian society, I think I would have studied medicine. Not because <laughs> not because I wanted to actually, let's be real. So what happened was I when I was in SS2, it was in SS2 and with to choose science or art. And my dad wanted me to be in the science classes. But me, I I went to the art class. I stayed there for like is it a month or let me say a week or a month something like that. it was not up to a month a week or two weeks and that's when i told him that i've already joined the art class and he was like oh i would have joined the science the sciences and just maybe go go for medicine i was like me i want to go for law i'm sure it's always nollywood movie i saw that they used to do courts that made me to, that gingered me i thought i made me to feel like i want to study law but no regrets though i would have been a bad medical doctor to think of it <laughs> I wouldn't have been a bad medical doctor at all. As a graduate of law, what can you say about your entire journey from your undergraduate days? Uh, <laughs> when I try to explain it, my head will be headache me. <laughs> Joke aside, it wasn't a... <laughs> It wasn't even fun at all. It wasn't a smooth ride. It wasn't a smooth journey. You know, I just feel like everybody has their own struggles, their own challenges, and their own hurdles of life in different areas, irrespective of the fact that probably gained admission or not. Like you must definitely come about come across those hurdles, those challenges that when you scale through they make you stronger. So I'm no exception. I had my own challenges. I had no, at times I actually thought I won't even graduate. Not like I had issues academically. Like my 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 book work, my grades were okay, were fine. But all the challenges that really made me feel like 
Ah, uh, I probably just drop out last last. So there's even one that I wanted to drop out me. <laughs> no joke. So <laughs> I wanted to like just start my life afresh. But God being faithful, we are here. Thank God. But it wasn't a smooth ride. What I would just tell people is whatever you find yourself, whatever situation you find yourself, always remember to pray because at the end of the day, you realize that your efforts goes nowhere unless with God. Annabelle Diamond, she says, why so fine? <laughs> I'm on our God, though. <laughs> I don't know if I've told you people in this video. The popular place they call Worry is actually in Delta State. So, I have a little bit of it. So, in my channel, you'll be hearing PG, you know, it's not like because I did talk low, 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 you know, I think that's only English. No, we did break them down to PG sometimes because waiting, you did the blood. You get, like, it just did there. I know if you just did, they, they, they are poor English, it's not. She gets, sometimes you need to the cut and in, you know, go back to motherland where we come from, incorporate and in. And this is where I grew up. So I definitely have that element, that little bit of, you know, worry vibe in here. The next question says, Tasha or Mercy? <laughs> this person's looking for trouble. You want people's fans to come and drag me. Anyways, it's quite interesting. I love that question. And I won't really answer directly, but I will just say what I like about both both of them. Now, Tasha is an example of a South Southerner. She has this this vibe. She has this energy, and I feel like that energy is like Olokom. I have seen few South Southerners, few Deltans that are actually more on the quiet side, but it's hard. It's rare. Most times you see us, we are always like ready to attack. You get, and I can't say I don't like that about her when I, I, I feel like I have that as well. If you come for me, I will come for you. That's my kind of person. And Tasha has that come for me, I come for you kind of attitude. She has this tell you straight to your face kind of. She's this tell you straight to your face kind of person. She is this I don't take nonsense. I don't take your juice kind of person. And I. I respect her for that because it's her person and she can't even start saying okay well, she wants to try to be somebody else because a lot of people do not agree with that side of her. It's probably where she grew up. When you grow up in a hard place, sometimes it actually gets to you. So I actually like that about her actually. Because to survive in this nation, you have to like sometimes you have to be tough. That's the truth. So I like that about her. And on the other hand, I'm somebody that likes admiring some things about people that i know i don't have and that's where messi comes in she's somebody that actually goes flows with everybody she doesn't even hold anything against anybody and then she's a free giver that's one thing i noticed about her in the big brother house big brother ninja house if you don't know these people they are big brother ninja season four housemates and i'm a big big huge fan of big brother ninja if i had big brother general i love that free giver attitude that mercy has everybody loves her calls i love her calls so i i love tasha's shape too i love both of them i definitely don't have that free spirited um listen to like vibe with everybody even an enemy there because there was one place that she was even calling somebody and her wig was on the person said if it's me i will drag my wig as i feel like She's an easygoing person for that. I admire that about her. So I'm not going to choose them. I just said what I like about these two people. So I dodge your temptation in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> so those are all the questions you guys asked about myself, my personal self, and all that. And thank you guys for all the questions. And there was one particular thing I wanted to tell you guys about. And it's something that I had tough decision trying to reach to like disclose to you guys but I really had to because I want to be incorporating some kind of DIYs or some other things that have to do with some visible part of my body and I don't want anybody to freak out so that's why I concluded I was going to say that in this video so I'm actually a born survivor so I actually have visible scars sometimes around my face but you really don't see it unless you come close. They are not really acne, they are scars. And I have a little bit on my shoulder, a little bit here on my chest, and more visible on my hand. So
so i'm just saying that so in case i'm like doing like a hair tutorial or like a diy making something myself on my channel i don't want anybody to freak out and i don't want to take anybody by surprise it doesn't hurt and the story will be saved i'll probably say the story here but not now not anytime soon either because it's a decision i'll have to make myself and it doesn't hurt like i said it's just part of me and i just felt like i should let my subscribers know my viewers know so nobody freaks out when i do some videos in general thank you guys for dropping your questions it was actually interesting trying to answer some of these questions and i hope you guys know a little bit about me now every beauty related question will be answered in the next video thank you so much for watching and bye